Hi everyone, this is Sybil again. I am so sorry for the odd camera angle, but I might even have to take it up a little bit um, further just because I'm gonna share with you some larger containers and I wanna make sure I get them all on the camera. Um, so it's gonna be kind of awkward filming this one, I think, but um, I'm gonna share with you how I store um, my regular stamps. And I shared in my previous video how I store my buttons and my baubles and my bling. And I shared with you that I use these close to my heart containers. And um, I am not a consultant, just in case somebody watches that video and they want to see, you know, um, want to know the price. If you, I got these when I was a, um, consultant. I believe I've purchased most of them as a consultant, so I got a good discount. But I do know like if you do like a party and things, you can get a discount too. I'm not sure if it will apply to this, but like for the long container that I had my buttons in and just the various things that I stored in there by color, it is $14.95. Then you buy the insert if you want that in there for $8.95. Then you buy, um, the containers and there's three for $6.95. So yeah, that's why, you know, being a consultant at that time came in handy because I was able to um, place some orders. So anyway, I also wanted to tell you that I have made a playlist with my little storage series here. So if you want to see how I store my flowers, you can go to that playlist and you can see that there. And I shared with you previously, this is a close to my heart container. This is how I have several of these for my image stamps because that's what I mainly um, stamp with are image stamps. But I wanted to share with you how I store regular stamps as well. And again, close to my heart, this is the medium container. And I love, again, that it is clear and you can see what's in it. It does come with two of these lengthwise inserts that you can put here and then you can get these it does come with them these little inserts that go down the middle so you can have dividers um, i've taken all of them out but this one here and there's a method to my mad madness and i'll share with you in a moment i'm fighting back a sneeze i'm really trying to sneeze for some reason um, candace gave me these clear containers and they have the little punch there so you can hang them up and I thought that would um, that was really nice for her to give those to me and in the future I can put some stamps in there and hang them up if I ever find a what is that that mounting system you know that um, where you hang up your 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 clean stamps and everything but in this um, side I just have stamps that I have like more than one of in a set um, well, they're not set of a brand. So I have my Whimsy stamps. I have Prima. I have my Amy, um, do I have my Amy R? Yep, Amy R stamps and things like that. So I have those there. And then I don't have a whole lot of um, stamps on blocks anymore. I've gotten rid of most of them. So in here, these are the ones that I wanted to keep. So I have three of them here. And then in this side, I simply have, again, stamps by brand. I have the Stamper's Best, and then, um, what are these? Our Daily Bread, and then the Verve stamps. And so those are smaller. I didn't want them flapping around in there. Flapping, flopping. You choose whichever word you want, and you can put that in that sentence, because you know when I make videos, yeah, my English seems to go out the window. So, is it my English or my common sense? Probably both. <laughs> and then here's the large container, and I hope I can get that all on there. See how big this puppy is? It is huge. And what I really like about this is that the lid is um, has a deep inset. And I'll show you why I like that. Well, I think they all have that. Yep, they all do. That way, I have back here my... Um, let me adjust my camera real quick. Sorry about this. I'm going to... There we go. I have my um, Stampin' Up here. These are the last ones that I've... Again, I've de-stashed a lot of them. I've given a lot of them away. I do love Stampin' Up. But, you know, I just got so used to using image stamps that I've kind of, kind of gotten out of using these stamps. So, 
This video was not only to share with you how I organize my stamps, but also to give myself that little oomph that I need to start crafting with these stamps again. Um, but see how they're up above the container, you know? But because of the deep inset of the lid there, the depth of it, it doesn't even, it doesn't bother them. So it doesn't bend them or anything. So stamping up close to my heart, and then I have two sets of the old wooden Stampin' Up stamps. And then on this side, I just have on the very, can you see that at all? You don't, here, I'll go like this. Um, I have, on the very bottom of this one, I have stamps that need to be, you know, uh, um, put on clean mount, the foam cushion. And then I have a bunch of stamps that are, you know, just longer in length and longer in length. <laughs> what did I tell you earlier? My English and my common sense goes out the window. So that was a little redundancy there. Um, yeah, that are that are longer stamps. So they fit in here lengthwise better than the other one. And then um, I just have various stamps. Don't have a whole lot of um, duplicate stamps here, mainly like one or two from each company. So that is how I store my regular stamps. I don't have a large craft room in this condo. We're just renting. Um, I'm not going to snap that on there. I did that last time and it made a really loud sound. But when we purchase a home, and I found a beautiful, beautiful home, but my husband comes home in a few weeks, maybe, maybe, We'll go look at it and it might be, you know, might be what we really do want. That would be wonderful. But when I get a craft room, I will probably change up my um, stamp storage just a hair, you know. But anyway, these containers work perfect and I put them in my um, closet here in the craft room. So that's how I store my regular stamps and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments on my videos and for watching. You guys are wonderful. Bye. God bless.